are warmly welcome on SRTV Lab. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you a warm welcome once again on SRTV Lab. As you can see here, today we are going to see how to do ECG recording, the electrode placement, and how to print the electrocardiogram or the ECG paper with the function of the heart on it. That is what we are going to see today. So enjoy. First of all, this is the electrocardiograph. It is the machine used in ECG recording or electrocardiography. So before you start recording, you unplug it. When it is charging during ECG recording, it might lead to some artifacts or interference. Here we have the electrodes. Let me show them to you clearly. Good. These electrodes are the one that placed on the patient's skin. Here is the red electrodes. Here on the cable of the electrodes, it's written where to press it. Here is another yellow electrode. Good. This is a green electrode. Even on the cable, it's written. Here is a black electrode. It is a neutral electrode. You will see where to press it. So here we have the ECG cable and here we have the transducer the one that takes signal from the electrode into the electrocardiograph god start the procedures first of all you have to know the patient's position a position should be the anatomical position the spine lying or lying on your back the palm facing upward and the top clothes have to be removed in order to access the chest because we'll place some electrodes on the chest. Good. The next step will be just to put the electrodes on places. Good. A patient has to calm down, not talk during ECG recording. Good. Here we start with the this red electrode. Here this metallic part let me show you it clearly this metal part it is the one which is electrode the other one which is red it is just a cramp the one that is help us to better place the electrodes on place this is for the right arm the right arm electrode red electrodes is placed on the right arm so it's very easy to remember red electrodes on the right arm but we place it on the wrist joint good it is called arm electrode but we put it on the wrist joint good this is for people who have the limbs what if someone is amputated we are going to see where to place them. Good. This yellow electrode is placed on the left arm. So actually, before we put other electrode, when you don't have the rims, the electrode are placed at the shoulder, the one on the upper rim. The one on the lower limb are placed just at anterior superior leg spine, just medial to it. That is where we place the electrodes of the lower rim. Now, this green electrode is for the left foot. But we are not going to put it on the foot. We will place it on the ankle joint of the left lower rim. You are going to see how to place it. This is for the left lower limb. Good. Mm -hmm. This is the right lower limb. No, this is the left lower limb. Let us press the electrode just 
there on the just here above the ankle joint he made that this is where we press the left foot electrode we say left foot electrode but you know it's put at the ankle joint good now we have another black electrode this is one is a neutral electrode we are going to put it on the right lower rim this is how we press the electrodes of the rims good let me show you clearly here you see green on the left foot black on the right foot good red on the right arm but at the right wrist joint that is why we press the red electrode here we come to the right i mean to the left this is yellow electrode we go back to the left foot green electrode right foot black or neutral electrode we are done with the limb electrodes now let's go to the chest good on the chest we are going to use six electrodes on each cable is written the number of the electrode we start with c1 electrode or chest one electrode actually the c1 electrode is placed on the fourth intercostal space right edge of the sternum so you count from the clavicle downward you will be filling the spaces between ribs it's very soft you will count up to four the fourth intercostal space either it is at the same level with the nipple that is where we are going to place c1 electrode just right edge of the sternum at fourth intercostal space good that is where we are going to put c1 electrode right edge of the sternum or right border of the sternum on fourth intercostal space c2 is placed at the same level with c1 but at the rift edge or rift border of the sternum good then we are going to skip c3 first of all we're gonna place c4 why c4 it's known where to place c4 c4 is placed at fifth intercostal space just it is one intercostal space below the fourth good so we have to move down a bit from fourth intercostal space to fifth fifth but at which level at mid clavicular line i'm going to show you you just see where the clavicle deviate from the clavicle just mid clavicular line then you draw like a marginal line that just where it is intersect with fifth intercostal space that is where we press c4 electrode good then c3 it will be at the mid distance between c4 and c2 remember c4 at fifth intercostal space where it meets with the mid clavicular right good we are done with c3 and c4 now let's go to c5 c5 is placed at the anterior axilla right when you see the axilla it has a prominence anterior and then within the armpit it is the mid axilla and then posterior there is another called posterior axilla line here c5 it was anterior axilla line then c6 it's mid axilla line just within the axilla but at the same level with c5 and c4 the fifth intercostal space that is why you place all chest electrode now we are done with the electrode placement let us switch on the 
electrocardiograph. Good. You see the screen is on. Here on this electrocardiograph, you place F1 button in order to see the reads on the screen. Good. And another thing, when you remove one electrode on its position, you are going to see what is going to happen. Look at the screen. Look, things have become chaos. Everything has become bad. But when you put it back on its position, you are going to see what happens. Good. Everything become normal again. So the next step will be to print out the electrocardiogram. Electrocardiogram, it is this paper with heart tracing on it. It is called electrocardiogram. The machine is electrocardiograph. And this whole process of recording the ECG, it is called electrocardiography. The process is called electrocardiography. The machine is electrocardiograph. The paper is electrocardiogram. So on the screen you can see these are the reads. Good. Then the next step will be to switch off the machine. You get me. Remember, there are so many types of electrocardiograph. This is the one that we have here. Good. The next step will be just to remove the electrode from our patient. And we will see in the future how to interpret the ECG step by step. It's a very long course. It requires speciality. So, but we'll see just some of the basics of ECG interpretation. So we are removing the electrodes. Good. Good. Our patients has behaved well. No talking, no moving during ECG recording. Good. This is how it is done, guys. Good. The last step is to clean your patients and thank him for being a good patient for good cooperation. Good. Our patients has done well. Thank you. Good. So, guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope it's very helpful. So please, don't keep this information just with yourself. Share this information to your colleagues. And see you in another video next time. May God bless you abundantly.